Hello and welcome back to Factorio. We are in alter, um, Exotic Industries and I'm just rerouting some belts because um, I am wanting to set up our through there we go, that is very spaghetti. Um, I'm rerouting some belts because I'd like to set up our first uh, production cells. Um, so, one of the things I did between episodes was just let's turn off this and this. Um, I just set up a radar and some electricity so that we've got um, a road back to the fuel. So what I would like to do is put down a couple of production cells. Let's see if we can get them down. There we go. Good. And um, what we're going to do is set up smelting in one of these. So I'd like to move the... We've got a very hacky um, smelting set up for iron and for copper. And I'd like to replace them with something a bit more... Um, a bit more robust based upon our new grid. Um, and that means... Oh, this turret's in the way. Okay, we may need to put a whole lot of turrets back down again after we've pulled them all up. Um, but we'll work it out. All right, so this is our road. And we'll fill this all in in a minute. So here's our iron. So I'd like to put down some electric mining drills because we can use electric mining drills. Who'd have thought that would be so exciting? And uh, we still need to keep everything defended. Uh, but um, since we moved the uh, belligerents back, I think it's not the most important thing to be completely covered. Oh, these have a really big mining area. And that's handy. Okay. I'll do another one of these. Um, and then I think we'll use uh, underground belts to um, let us get uh, power poles in the gaps. So, we'll try and keep it on a nice grid. That gives us the possibility of uh, blueprinting later. There we go. Okay, so why am I doing this? So, so far we have a um, a very spaghetti base. Um, that's the polite way to put it. There's there's sort of a um, some sort of um, bus thing going on, but it's not appropriate for um, it's not appropriate for making sure that our uh, future needs are met. So we're going to move towards a city blocks with trucks model. Okay, so here's a supply depot here. Um, and what I really want is uh, loaders. Let's look in the tech tree to where loaders come in. Okay. So loaders come at fast inserter. Okay, so um, let's cancel all this and do the fast inserter tech. Good, and I don't know how long that's gonna take. Our research is all but stopped. I wonder if there's an actual problem causing that. Um, it seems to be the green again. Yeah, these are going as fast as they can. We just do not have enough um, machines making the green pots. I'm not going to address that now. We're just going to get on with building stuff. Um, all right, so since since we don't have loaders currently, I'm just going to bodge it with some arms. Okay, and then I'm going to drag a power pole across like that. 
and that should have got everything running. It has. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. Um, I'm trying to avoid doing this with nanobots because it's quite an expensive. Putting down road is something I can do by hand. It's quite expensive to do it with nanobots. Although it's you know, doing it with nanobots means you can get on with other jobs. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm not convinced either way. But for now, let's just run this down because it's nice and easy to do. The, the point of designing the network like this is that largely you can put down any production process anywhere and the road network will sort it out. So we can have a request depot and you then say what this is going to request. So uh, in our case this is going to request the poor iron chunks which are, that's not it, that's alien frost glands. That, oh, high energy crystal, I wonder what those are. I guess we'll find out later. Um, ores are under here, okay. So these are iron chunk. I'm looking for poor iron, I think. Poor iron, that's it. So then we put some trucks in here. Okay, so that's the basic idea. Um, so there's now poor iron chunks in here. It's filling up quite nicely. This is, this has five trucks in and it's requesting poor iron chunks. And the transport drones aren't currently doing anything because they need to be supplied with petrol. So if we go to the map, you can see there's this truck here. This is supplying petrol from this petrol station. So this truck will come up. You can actually hop in trucks. And if you hop into them, they get whatever speed bonus you have. So that goes there, drops off fuel. And then these trucks now come out. And if we ride one again, that gets a speed bonus. They get a bit confused by corners. I believe they use the bite of parking logic. Um, so he then fills up and then drives back. Um, and then drops off the material into these. So now this has 200 poor iron chunks in. As you do extra researches, the, the trucks get faster and also they carry more per trip. So it, it works quite well. Okay, so we will end up with some belt coming out. We're going to need some fuel because uh, we're using um, let's put down another let's craft another couple of trucks. Okay, so we're going to need some coal as fuel. And then this is quite a big area, so I'd like ideally to put down um, a, a good size smelting. Now I've got no idea how long we're going to need to use this smelt for, um, but let's, whoops, so that should be 12, yeah, and let's uh, start off by centering it, we can move it later, and I haven't decided where we want it up and down. Um, then there's a, a cheap build version of this, and an expensive build version. And I think for now I'm gonna go with the cheap build. So the idea is, actually, no, we'll go with the expensive, just because. Okay, so you have two belts. You put those the other side. Um, and then we're gonna alternate uh, with inserters. So we need to decide one of these belts is gonna be the input and one's going to be the output. And I think it's going to be easier for the output to come out here so that we don't have to worry about the output belt accidentally picking up material from the input belt. Um, let's try that first of all and then we can all, always flip things if that doesn't work. Okay, so that would mean we'd have inputs like that and outputs like that and then output there, input there. Now, 
You can probably see the problem with this design. There's nowhere for power poles. Um, so we're going to need some underground belt to solve the power pole problem. Whoops. Well, I think that does it, doesn't it? So if we copy this to here, then... Uh, That works. So let's erase the rest of this belt. Okay. So this is the input belt. This is the output belt. Um, and then we need to get into here a split belt of... Um, iron and coal. Now I'm just looking at this again. Um, I think this is two, this is twice as many um, furnaces as we need, isn't it? So we've got, how many furnaces have we got here? No, that is the right number. So there's 24 furnaces in total. And 24 steel furnaces should smelt... Ah, 12 steel furnaces smelt a half lane of iron. Okay. What we could do... Let's cut this back. Okay, what we could do is run a second belt here. And all our inserters are misplaced. I'm glad I, I looked at this, otherwise we would have had them all pointing into, into the ether. Let's grab this then. So that's the alignment I want. There. Okay, so these are taking from the mixed belt of iron and coal and they're putting onto the central belt. So if we then take that away, copy this and press G to do a, a horizontal flip rather than a vertical flip. There. Okay, that can go. What's the bill of materials for that? So that's 20, 24 arms, 24 long arms, 24 furnaces, 12 undergrounds. So I think we have enough of everything to build this. Now, is it in the place we want? All right, let's start off by turning our nanobots off um, and picking up some iron parts and whatever else is needed to make nanobots. Um, I have a, a cache of iron parts here. Yeah. Okay. Because there's no way I'm building this by hand if I don't have to. Okay, so this needs to be a mixed um, coal and um, iron. Now, ideally I'd like to fit two of these in because then that would give us two yellow belts of iron. Okay, that fits quite nicely. So it's just gonna be a case of making sure the belt spaghetti fits. Okay, and then I'm leaving at least four tiles at the top so that later on there's room to fit a rover port here. So later on, we probably want to fit a four by four rover port in this corner. Um, How does that look? That looks pretty good. And then we would put this into the supply depot. Um, and then the loaders tech completed. Okay, so we can use loaders here.
which is definitely the better option. Okay, and we'll figure out what's going on there in a minute. Um, so let's let's feed these in with loaders. Um, okay, we can just drain that bit of belt off with a loader. Um, okay. So it's the usual thing with um, loaders being not quite sure about um, knowing which way they should be pointing when you put them down. But that's that's working fine, isn't it? Okay, I'm glad we got that tech done. So we're going to need two iron outputs and two copper outputs. Sorry, two iron outputs and two coal outputs. Because we need to um, get two belts up here and two belts up here. And I'm wondering if it's easier to mix them in the middle and then run four belts. But there's only one, two, three tiles here. So that's going to make it tricky to wire four belts. So maybe this whole contraption needs shifting over one. Or maybe we can do something with undergrounds. So we could have that. Then is there room? There is not quite room to get an underground through. We could if we had red belt, but then if we had red belt, we wouldn't need four belts. We could get away with two. Um, so I think we do need to move this all over by one tile. Okay, and then this gives us the problem with this end of belt. So if we turn this downwards, that works. And let's do another couple of texts which um, just use research. Um, I'm just trying to burn through some things which aren't game altering, but which are useful. Okay, so these two inputs here are fine. And then I'm going to move these to this side. Our, uh, our wiring situation is going to become much easier later because we will have um, large electric, electric poles, so we won't be trailing these little wooden poles everywhere. Okay, so those are the four belts we need. All right, so let's just... So this is the contraption you have for mixing two belts into two half belts. Um, so I need two of these to make our four belts. And obviously something here is going to need undergrounds to, to let this come out the other side. Um, this takes up quite a lot of space though. So we'll, we'll have to figure out where to put it. Okay. And then if I had a second one of these. Um, I'm just wondering how I get, is there enough room? Here, no, so again, we've got the four tile problem. So I think we would have to... Is there some other way? Okay, I wonder if we can do... Because we're really strapped for space, so... Um... So that works. Okay, and that works. So maybe we can do two of these.
Okay, I'm just thinking about how to actually line everything up so it will fit. Um, so if that could go down one. Whoops. That could go up one. And then that's four belts. Um, so how close can we make these two? Copy that. Paste it. Okay, so that's how close it can be. Let's move this out of the way for now. This was a bit of a mistake to... Um... Right. <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake. Never mind. Um, and we don't have enough loaders. We need four loaders. We only have two. Um, it reckons if I get some iron, I'll be fine. That's probably telling me I should have got intermediates instead, but never mind. Um, there we go. Okay, it's handcrafting a red engine, which is a bit sad, but never mind. So if I take this hideous contraption and put it there. Good. So then we need um, four belts in this gap, of which we can only do three. We really are really hitting up against space constraints. Um, it might be that we do this side a different way. Okay, so we can bring coal in there. Um, I need to bring in Okay, so that's two irons. So if I move the whole of this down a, chip, a single square. Then we can fit our two coals. There. Good. So then um, we can put... This can be the um, core iron chunks. This can be coal. In fact, I only need one coal output, really, don't I? Um, because it's going to burn a very small amount of fuel. So we can put a splitter here. That's an improvement. And then it's kind of ugly having these belts hard up against um, the road, so I am going to move them back up one. That's a bit neater and tidier. Uh, let's take this, move it up. Good. Okay, so if that's what I think it is, if I now turn on nanobots, we should end up with a working iron smelter. Um, the next task will be to set up some coal, um, which I think we can do quite easily. And then uh, if this works, then off screen I will build a copper version. Um, and uh, then we'll have iron and copper being produced off grid, which will be pretty cool. So, uh, I was saying the next thing we need is uh, big electric poles. If we look at them, they require insulated wire. And uh, insulated wire requires plastic. Plastic is coal and petroleum. So uh, in practice, I think the next module we make is going to be a plastic module. Uh, so that we can then get the plastic to make the large electric poles to make better designed um, modules here. Okay, we're out of yeah, we're, we're out of belts. So I'll go grab a handful of that. Um, 
Here we are. Good, those, uh, those researchers are, are going through. Uh, we appear to be out of undergrounds. I thought I'd crafted plenty. Maybe something else ate undergrounds, I'm not sure. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's, um, we can set this to coal. Um, wherever coal is. That's pure lead. That's not what I'm looking for. Coal chunk. Coal. <laughs> there we are, sorry. Um, right, and then this is the uh, poor iron. Uh, and then I can put some poor iron in these things by hand, actually. That's it. That's got rid of the extras we had. So then, uh, five in there, one in there. Maybe it should be four and one. Let's do four and one, because then it's easier to keep count of uh, crafting. Good. Uh, this is currently unpowered, because we've taken away the important wooden pole. And this important wooden pole as well. Good, so it's just waiting on coal. So the next thing would be to um, get coal into the network somewhere. I'm wondering if it, for now we'll just do it down here. So I need another supply depot. And where are we going to put it in. I'm just going to dump it in here um, with a priority splitter and then later on we'll have a, a proper mining, sorry, that, I want an output priority don't I? That's it. So then we'll put this here, we will... Um... Okay so that set its direction correctly when the belt attached. And then you can set the uh, size of the inventory on these boxes, just like you would any other container. So there we are, we've got coal. And of course I could have run a belt, but the whole point of this is to um, isolate each build as far as possible so that it's um, totally restampable and modular. So let's see. Then. If all these belts have worked correctly first time, then it's some kind of miracle. Um, let's stand in the middle of the build and have a look. Okay. So this should be, fingers crossed, enough iron for for me for quite a while in the game. Um, I'm hoping that because this has a, a tech progression that, uh, that I won't need just a, an absolute ton of smelting. One, one of the issues I had with the Crestorio 2 mod pack was that um, by mid-game you needed just so much material to make anything work, which is quite different from some other mod packs where it's, it's not that any one material you need a lot of, it's just that there's a lot of different materials. Okay, th those went down the wrong way. So it looks like I'm going to have an issue with nanobots and um, then placing down loaders facing the wrong way. But now that we know, we know. Okay, so this looks like a full flame coming out. Now, I, I just assumed these smelters worked at the normal um, ratio they do in vanilla, but I don't actually know. Okay, so this, this outputs 7.5 per second, which is half a green belt. So the pair output 15, that is correct, but they also output a um, small amount of uh, slag, so they're going to run slightly under their speed because the slag is being output onto the same belt as the ingots. Now, I could have had a, a third arm and used filter inserters to make sure the slag went elsewhere, but um, life is short. So, but it looks like because of the way these ratio out, it's going to be mostly ingots with a little bit of slag. So now I'm not doing anything with it. Uh, 
later on we'll set up a module to take the slag and put it somewhere. As far as I know, at the moment, the only thing I can do with slag is turn it into stone. But let's have a look. Slag. Okay, so it's produced by making lots of different types of ingots and glasses. It's ingredients in concrete, dirty water, and stone. So I think it's something for now. It's deep, dirty water. Okay, and then I don't really know what... I don't really know. Okay, it looks like dirty water is used for everything, so I don't want to trash the slag um, because it's going to be useful later on, and there's probably some point in the game where you need the slag to bootstrap the next process before you can get to the process that produces all the slag you need. So, anyway, this appears to work. So we've built our first module. Um, I can then take the exact same parts list and build a copper one here which I'll do off screen because you've seen me do it. And then next time I think we're going to look at plastic production or possibly look at moving the sciences into their own modules. Um, haven't decided yet. It'll be exciting to discover. Uh, either way, thanks very much for watching. This has been a productive episode. Um, please like, subscribe and tell your friends. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.